Hey, this is Cheryl with the Loyalton Learning Garden. I'm coming with you with another video from our beautiful garden here. So this past Wednesday, we would have celebrated Earth Day, which is a day that our nation set aside to appreciate the earth and look at ways that we can help keep it healthy. Um, something that I do here in the garden with students is, is try to impress upon them the idea of resourcefulness, how we can kind of limit our waste. So here I have is a tomato cage. And it's something that's useful. It's a useful tool in the garden for things like tomatoes. It keeps their branches and their fruits from laying on the ground. Um, it can also be used as a trellis for peas and cucumbers. So this is an important tool we have in the garden, but it's also made out of metal. And under our current circumstances with sheltering in place, many of us might not be able to make it to Home Depot to buy useful tools like this, or maybe we're financially not able to, but do not fear. We have an awesome opportunity um, to hear from Laurel Kohlberg with the Sierra Valley Grange. She is going to teach us how to create a obelisk or a tower, or you could also consider it a tomato cage. It uses the same purpose, something for plants to either be supported, their branches, or plants to be able to grow up and around. And it's created from willows, which are something that naturally grow in our streams and creeks right here in the valley. So Laurel Kurberg is going to show us how to do that. We were going to have her come out and um, the other members of the Grange and show us in person, but unfortunately under our circumstances, we are going to have to view it via the web. But I hope you enjoy it. And this is over to Laurel. Hi, my name is Laurel Colbert and I'm the master here at Sierra Valley Grange. A big thank you to Loyalton uh, Learning Garden for inviting the Grange to come and uh, demonstrate how to make your own gardening trellises and obelisks for uh, like your peas and your tomato cages. This way you can use something that's sustainable that we have here that's free and uh, you don't have to go to the garden center and buy, you know, foreign made things. So I'm going to show, start off with, these are just regular willow wands from out of the drainage ditches. I'm going to start with a circle around the outer edge of my bucket that's filled with dirt. The dirt's just in there to hold my uh, willow branches where I need them. So, and it can be pretty random how many you put in here. It doesn't really matter. You're going for your thicker branches because these are your supports. And you push them down in there because these are the legs that will go down into the dirt in your garden to offer you your support. Then you're gonna weave your beginning of your basket with your thinner, whippier ones. I do a double weave, which means you're gonna start one branch, and then you're gonna start another branch on the opposite side. Feed them down through your Things. This is the hardest part of the whole thing is getting this part started. There, you can see I've made an X here at the back. That's the hardest part. Get that started and you're good to go. Then there's a twist, front and back. A twist, front and back. You're going to twist and front and back. Twist, front and back. This is the whole pattern that goes on the whole time. And then the only other thing you have to learn is adding your sticks. So twist, front and back. Twist, front and back. Now, we're getting down kind of thin, so you start adding in new sticks. When you're adding a new stick, best idea is to put it on the back side of the upright supports so you've got some back pressure. So I'm actually adding it in place of this stick. So I've got the pressure there. I twist over here and I can go on. Then you can move up and start putting one in a little bit higher. Um, some people spiral their way up. It's up to you, whatever makes you happy. Don't worry about all these little shaggy bits. As we go, you can eventually trim those off so that's not a problem. So a nice trick for when you're starting new twigs out, you've got one on either side of your uprights, a hair doicky do. 
does work wonders because it'll hold it still and give you enough time to get your tension started and then you can just remove them later. So I'm going to start pulling my uprights in because I want this to eventually be a teepee shape or an obelisk. So I will be bringing my uprights in and starting to neck that down. Again, it's the same basket weaving principle. You're just twisting and then one goes behind the other. Once I close up this, that part of the circle, the form will start taking shape for the teepee. Okay, so now we're almost to the end here. So I've got a nice, good, sturdy collar going about uh, two feet up. I'm gonna add another piece in just to remind you how we're doing that. Put your new piece to the back, make your twist. I'm in my own way. Okay. And you can firm it up by pushing some of your weaving back down on the sticks and stuff. You'll trim it up. So we're just gonna take this one last twig and weave him in and out a bit, get rid of it. Okay. So now, one last thing is to take the top of the teepee. You're just gonna bring it, hold it tight, and some good jute twine, something like this, that's nice and biodegradable, works just fine. Find the top of most of your things, wrap it around a couple times, get a good sturdy wrap going so the birds don't pull it off on you. Tie a square knot. And that's my square knot. Through there. Okay, we now have a basket. This should, when we take it out, we'll have our nice long sticks to put down into your garden, and then the, the plant can grow up over around it or through it, and it's going to be pretty sturdy. I'm going to trim it up, and then you can see what we've got. So now that we've got it tied at the top, we've got our weave done, I've trimmed it up a little, the proof is in the pudding. You pull it out of your uh, form that you're using, and there you go, it stays together. So now we take it to the garden and we put it in the garden and we can put our tomatoes inside or our peas or whatever else we wanna grow on it. Thank you very much.